All right, this is the introduction video for a three acre tract uh, direct frontage on the take line, on the Corps of Engineer take line at Bull Shoals Lake, uh, right here in the heart of the Ozarks. Um, this is northernmost Arkansas, Boone County, Arkansas, about a quarter mile, uh, if that, uh, from the state line between Missouri and Arkansas. So let's jump in here. Uh, we've got the map right. Um, file open on this, you can see that the property outlined in red, the yellowish, orangish lines are the easement roads at Timber Shoals Ranch. This shaded area that you see on the left and also on the right, uh, that's the uh, Corps of Engineer line at Bull Shoals Lake. So Bull Shoals Lake um, was created and, and is maintained by the Army Corps of Engineers and they have uh, a buffer strip of land around the water that they, that they own um, so that they can raise and lower the water level at the dam and not affect private people. Uh, they use it for flood control, etc. So Bull Shoals Lake, Table, Table Rock Lake by Branson, uh, quite a few lakes uh, are Corps of Engineer lakes. So you can't own to the actual waterfront, but you can own to the, uh, to the take line, to the Corps of Engineer line, and then that gives you access over that public land directly to the water. Uh, you can also use the core land for hunting, um, recreation, all that good stuff. So if we look here, down here at the property, uh, a good portion of the west side directly borders the Corps of Engineer land. Now actually, uh, um, it's, it's a, you can see here, it, it's a bit, the layer is just a bit off. The, the red lines on map right are accurate. Uh, the Corps of Engineer line is just a hair off on this map, uh, but that's okay. Okay, so as we look at this, let's, let's do this. Let's zoom way out here. And we'll start that way. Actually, let's zoom way out and start that way. <laughs> okay, so the dotted line you see in the middle of, of the screen is the state line um, between Missouri and Arkansas. As we look, okay. Okay, so here we've got the property toward the bottom of the screen. Here's Branson, which is, uh, I believe it's about 20 miles, but we can check that really quickly. That's 80,000 feet, <clears throat> excuse me, so that's right at about 20 miles um, southeast of Branson. It's going to take you probably 45 minutes by car because you've got to go kind of up and around and whatnot. Uh, Springfield is right up here to the north, so that's where our office is. That's, I, I believe, about an hour and a half is what it takes for us to get to the property from Springfield, uh, right in that ballpark. Um, so let's zoom in here. So it, Really quickly, uh, if you were to come to the property from Branson or Springfield, you would likely, uh, up here in the upper left, take Highway 65, go east on Highway 160, and you go through Forsyth, which is um, a handy little town. Keep going east on 160. You'll go south on, I believe that's O Highway. Sorry, that's M Highway. So you're going to go, I guess, west off of 160 onto M. Follow that all the way down through Cedar Creek. Uh, you'll get down here. You stay on M, but you're actually kind of taking a right. Um, follow that down to Mo Arc Road. And when you get to Mo Arc Road, you're getting uh, close to the property. Whoop. There we go. Okay, so here's Mo Arc Road. Take Mo Arc Road on down. Uh, it ends basically right at the state line is where the paved road ends. And that's when you'll uh, jog to the left onto the gravel easement road that's going to take you right to the property. So this is literally um, about a quarter mile from, from the state line between Missouri and Arkansas. So here's Moark Road that ends, jog to the left, and follow the gravel easement road down to the property. The pink line on this map, um, we just put in there to, to kind of show how that's situated. That's a, a trail that goes uh, to State Line Cove right here, which is a nice place, uh, or we've found it to be a nice place to put a couple jet skis in the water or a pontoon boat in the water. Uh, I mean, it, it's super primitive. There are no amenities. It's just a gravel slope. It's in the Corps of Engineer land, so you can use that. Uh, what we've done is just drop, drop the boat in the water Tons of room here where you can park, uh, leave your truck and trailer all day if you want to. Um, so that's not a deeded easement, 
but we do own the south part of that field and you're welcome to cross that field um, to get to the Corps of Engineer land and then use state line cove. It's really handy. Um, so if you're coming to the property, like I said, you come to Moark Road, um, you'll see that the, the paved road ends and then there's a, uh, a driveway for this guy's house here. Um, retired guy and his wife that live there. Spectacular view. The house was built there because of the view, but you've got the same situation here on this three acre property. Uh, so you can see what he did was he basically, or whoever built it, he didn't build it, but it was built in the 80s or 90s. Uh, they cleared out the trees and uh, they've got just a, a breathtaking lake view. So this property was basically set up for, for that same thing as you've got the easement road here. Um, you obviously got to be off the easement road for the setback. Um, but then in order to, in order to get the lake view, you're going to have to thin out some of this timber. We're going to switch to topo map here. The property sits really, really nicely, especially for a, a view type property. Um, it slopes down just, just super gently until you get to the very southern tip here. That's where it starts to get a little steep. And that's where you hit the, uh, Corps of Engineer land as well. Um, there, I don't know if I would call this a bluff. Um, I walked down to to the southern tip here, but I did not walk down to the down to the lake. I could see the water very well. Uh, it's it's going to be steep though. I mean, I'm sure you could get down to it and get back, uh, but I didn't really see any trails unless there was an old deer trail. But I mean, ideally, the the thing that you might want to do as we zoom in here, um, get off the road 100 feet, pick out your building site. And then, although you can't cut any timber with a stump diameter of over great, inch, great inches, eight inches until the property's been paid for, we do routinely give uh, written permission to cut timber for an improvement. So that would be a driveway, a building site, or potentially a view. So if you figure out where you want your site, and there's a, a certain number of trees that will have to be removed to open up that view, which will be the case, uh, you can mark those trees. We can have a guy come take a look at that, one of our guys, and uh, give you... Uh, written permission uh, so you can do that uh, or you can just wait until the property's been paid for in full and, and uh, you can do what you like with the timber there so uh, I mean if you're looking for a view property it really doesn't get much better because you've got access um, paved road all but the last quarter mile um, just did the ground video recently on this so it's, it's fresh in, in my mind uh, just loaded with cedar trees, some hardwood as well, but we had some interesting rock formations. If you check the listing, we found like a little miniature waterfall, like a micro waterfall uh, right down here, either at the south end or, or just barely on the core line. Uh, the map right indicated it was at the south end. Uh, it had been raining uh, for several days, so it's not going to be a year-round waterfall, but I mean, it was cool and it just kind of showed uh, what's on that property. So um, yeah, when you're driving out there, uh, be sure to look to your right to check out this guy's uh, spread and his view because you've got the same deal here. I mean, if, if we, oh, I wish we had the time to go in and spend three or four days uh, on a track like this, specifically this track, and open up that view because it would be just jaw-dropping. I mean, that, that's what it's all about here uh, on the lake is, is to get that view and still have access. Uh, and you've got the access nearby with State Line Cove up here. Um, Switch it to uh, satellite layer. You get the access there at State Line Cove, or if you continue going south on that easement road, <coughs> excuse me, uh, it's about a mile and a half, and you'll get to this sandy beach area. And I mean, we just think that's awesome. You'll see in the listing we have multiple pictures of that because it's just one of the coolest things that that we've ever seen. And that's in the Corps of Engineer land. But the thing about that is uh, there are no public roads to that. Sandy Beach area, only the private roads uh, at Timber Souls Ranch. So really, it's only property owners and their guests that could ever get there with a the vehicle. Uh, I guess if you're on the lake, you could potentially get there with your boat. Uh, but I mean, in reality, it's, it's just always going to be a super secluded uh, type area for, for just property owners and their guests. Uh, so so pretty, uh, pretty unique. Um, the easement roads, like I said, we were just out here a couple days ago. We had a lot of rain. Uh, the roads definitely were rough in spots. They are minimum maintenance roads. Um, so the guys are trying to widen them out a little bit and, um, and grade them here and there. But, 
uh, do keep in mind that you're going to want a truck or an SUV uh, that's just kind of uh, that that cabin, that secluded feeling that that uh, Timber Shoals Ranch is all about. So something to keep in mind. But uh, that was one of the longer intros I've ever done. Feel free to check out instantacres.com. If this property is still available, then you'll see it on the website. Uh, if it's not on the site, that means it's unfortunately been sold already. Uh, we had quite a few tracks of Timber Shoals. Uh, they're basically selling as soon as we get them on the market. So if, if you've been waiting for one, uh, specifically one with a, a view, or I should say a potential view, because uh, you do have to you'll have to clear out some timber to, to get that stunning view. Uh, but yeah, you, you might want to hop on, on this one because really nice tract, uh, easily big enough to, to build a large house or cabin or have a, you know, a nice campsite set back off the road. Feel free to come out and take a look. You're absolutely welcome to come out here and look. I mean, if, if you give us a call, um, you could probably camp out here for a day or two. You know, just, just let us know so we don't have two people camping at the same time. Uh, but yeah, check out the property covenants area has some common sense restrictions. That's going to keep everything looking nice. Uh, and protect your investment. Uh, and like I said, check us out at instantacres.com. Uh, give us a call or shoot us an email at sales at instantacres.com. We would love to hear from you.